Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 5th of August 2022. I had a very, very early, super early start to today. It's now uh, lunchtime and I get a chance to play uh, today's Guardian. Uh, my apologies because I know the sound quality is going to be yuck, really horrible and very uh, robotic. Um, my voice is bad at the best of times, but um, today's going to be really horrible, I know, because of the because I'm going to need the um, sound re noise reduction uh, stuff switched on, and that always makes my voice even worse than it generally is. So, uh, sorry for the bad sound quality, but um, anyway, that's all I can do since it is lunchtime here in Bangkok and it's hot outside, and uh, possibly playing this game without aircon or fan is just unthinkable right now. So. Uh, let's have a bash at it, shall we? I'll get onto the Sudoku, rather than mentioning uh, what's going on with China and uh, America over Taiwan. Still think that was a foolish mistake by Pelosi. I'm sure she hasn't really helped the situation, but anyway. Let's uh, get on and play Sudoku. Five's blocking down here like so. Five blocking down here like this and five across here. Puts a five into that square there. That was the only thing I saw while I was chatting to you, by the way. But now I see something else. Six blocking down here and down here, so we can get six there. Is it going to be yet another hard level game from the Guardian, an actual hard level game? We had one yesterday, it was pretty tough I thought. Um, and been quite surprisingly difficult uh, this week really. Uh, well, in places anyway. Not, not, not every day of course. Okay, we have a four blocking across and another four blocking across and one down. So we get ourselves a four there. Four blocking down here and down here enables us to place a four. In that special location there. One across, when I say one, I mean four across here and another four down here. Four. That's as far as we can take the fours. Uh, okay, going a bit slowly, so let's click on some digits to get some ideas. Okay, we have five blocking across this row and across this row, so we can get five there. Uh, okay, we have nine blocking across here and nine up here. Now, 
this 9 blocks this square, so 9 must appear in one of these two squares. So that in turn will block up here. So we have 9 blocking up there, so that will give us just a single option there. 9 must be there. 9 blocking across the top row, and we get to the end of my mouse drawing. The mouse seems to be a bit sticky at the moment. Okay, 9 there. I've no idea why I haven't spilled any coffee on it. Perhaps the mouse is sweating. Uh, it might have been in a non-air-conditioned room for too long. Okay, this nine blocks this square, this nine blocks these three squares. We still need a nine for this column, so let's put that one there. And then nine blocking down here and nine across here, so that square there. Um, we need one more. Nine across, nine across. That's the last one. Seven blocking this square and seven blocking this square. Okay, so missing numbers here and here have to be one and eight. As soon as we see this one blocking across here, we know the one goes there, so that must be our one, this must be our eight. Missing numbers here and here are three and eight. Uh, missing numbers over here are three and something else. Three and two, ah, we've got the blocking three there, so three is there, two is there. And the final missing numbers down here are uh, six and eight, so we've got the intersecting eight there, giving us an eight there and a six there. Uh, okay, let's click on the digits again because we've done some things and so made some changes and therefore some things will look different. Um. Right, okay, this I think might be a bit convoluted, but anyway, let's just see. Three blocks this square here, three blocks this square here, three blocks this square here. So we know that in three must appear in either this square or this square in this block, right? Okay, now when we examine the three blocking this square up here, we are limited to three in this square or this square, and we know three is here or here. That means middle column and right column, okay? So that means in this middle block here, we can only be looking in this column. And remember, I just said it has to appear there or there. So we know that that has to be our three. Uh, let's go back to the clicking digits again. I think it's kind of useful at the moment. For example, the five going all the way across there and across here and up here now, so five that square, five down here. We're going to be able to finish the fives here, I can see. Five blocking across there, that's our five. Five across here, up here, down there, and across there. That's the final five.
Okay, we are lacking a seven in this row, but we've got seven um, stopping that square from becoming seven. Another one here, and another one here. So there we go with our seven. And we can say seven blocking up here, up here, like that. Seven goes there. Seven blocking across here and up here. That puts seven in one of these two squares. Let's extend it along. We have seven blocking this across here and up there. Seven blocking here, seven blocking here. There's our seven and the final seven we can get. Just there. So five, seven, and nine are done now. Uh, one is the only number missing from this column. It has to go there. We have one blocking up here, so our one fits there. One blocking up here and across here, so another one goes there. One down, one across, one up. And now one across these two rows. Up there. Up here, up here. Across here and along there. One, five, seven, nine, done. We should probably get threes next. That will get us all the odd numbers. Can't really play the game like that. I did try once before, and it kind of worked, but only by only um, by fluke, not by <laughs> ingenuity. Uh, right, what numbers are missing here? Because then we can get that one, can't we? Missing numbers here are four and six. Okay, we can see the blocking four immediately. So put four there, put six there, six blocking across and across. Let's put that in while we see it. And now let's do this digit down here. Whatever it is, uh, is it? An, no, is it? Uh, yes, it's a two. Two blocking across here. So this game hasn't turned out to be difficult after all. I thought uh, it was going to be a tough game at the beginning, but no, actually, I uh, just needed like, the way in, and then things were pretty easy from there on eight blocking there, eight is here, three is there, three blocking up here, that's a three. One number missing here is two, I think, and the last number here is four. One number to get across here, which is an eight. Eight blocking down, eight blocking up. There's our eight if I can only put in the right square. Eight we need for the end of this row as well. For this column, we need uh, the six, I guess. Yep, and six blocking down here means we've got six there as well. The last number to get here, come back and do it. Three. Last number here is a three. Three is needed for that square there, and to finish today's game two will do it so actually not difficult uh, game from the guardian this morning um right, once again apologies for the uh, poor sound quality i know it's going to be but um uh, that's it for now uh, i'll hope to be back at some point with the new york times but i'm not i can't guarantee it may or may not be but that's it for now bye bye